Let's go to Rotorua now, where the trial of a man accused of killing road worker George Taroa just over three years ago has opened. The Crown says its case, while circumstantial, is strong, but the defence says the accused has been fitted up for the crime. 45-year-old Quinton Winders is charged with the murder of Mr Taroa, who died from a shot to the head in March 2013. The trial's in the High Court in Rotorua, and a reporter, Andrew McRae, is there and joins us live uh, Andrew, from outside the court, where I imagine it is fairly chilly. What is the Crown saying about the case? It is circumstantial. The Crown admits that. Yes, they do, John. They say it's circumstantial because there, there's no weapon. It's never been found. And there's no DNA linking uh, Quinton Winters, uh, Winters to, to the, the killing as well. But they do say that there's enough evidence to show that uh, he was in the area at the time that he uh, had a vehicle that was similar to the one that was seen at the scene of the, the killing and also seen later uh, in, in the area. And they also say that uh, this particular vehicle had been, since the police uh, started uh, you know, trying to find who did the killing, has been uh, altered in some way and the tow bar had been taken off and uh, various other things were made to, to modify the vehicle. Now what the Crown is saying is that uh, the reason that uh, they say Quinton Winters killed Mr Tyro is that the, uh, a week before the actual killing, um, Quinton Winters was with his father and they were at the, uh, came to the same roadworks at the uh, tramway bridge where Mr Tyro was working the, the go stop sign. And uh, the car in front had gone through and then realised they had to stop and uh, before them also was uh, Quinton Winters, Winters and his father. Now they backed their vehicle back and hit the car behind them and uh, when they got out and uh, exchanged uh, uh, details uh, the Crown says that Quinton Winters uh, said to the people that uh, the reason for the, the crash was uh, the blame was, should be on the, uh, the go stop man and one of the witnesses today who was in that, that other vehicle said you know, that she actually agreed with him and the Crown also says that um, uh, that was the catalyst for the killing and that uh, Quinton uh, Winders really uh, had a tendency to overreact to the, the behaviour of others. Right. What do they say happened to Mr Tairoa? Well, there's evidence from a uh, truck driver who was uh, near the scene when a vehicle stopped at the, at the bridge. He was looking ahead and he could see Mr uh, Tairoa lean into a blue Cherokee vehicle to the window and then suddenly stand up and sort of uh, go stiff and then collapsed on the ground, and he had no idea what was going on, but he did say that the blue Cherokee Jeep then sped off, and then the truck driver quickly made his way to the scene, and they uh, discovered that uh, Mr Tyroa had been uh, shot one bullet uh, through the head. So that is the early stages of the Crown case. What is the defence saying in their opening? Well, they made a sort of a brief statement uh, just when the Crown finished. They said that... Uh, uh, Mr Winders uh, doesn't know, has never spoken to, has no idea, has never met uh, George Tyroa and had no mo motive or reason to kill him. They also say that he wasn't on tram road at the time and uh, had he killed him it would have required something like a 525 a kilometre round trip to arrive at the scene 10 minutes before Mr Tyroa returned from what was a late lunch. So they say it didn't happen. They also say, the defence says that uh, the witnesses uh, who say they saw the vehicle and also saw the driver of, of a vehicle have wide and varied uh, descriptions ranging from a purple vehicle, a blue one, a black one and the driver, some are saying it was a Pakeha and some are saying it was a Maori. So the, the defence are basically saying that uh, uh, their client is absolutely innocent and uh, the police basically right from day one, well, within a couple of days, decided he was their main suspect and basically the defence says the police have sort of fitted the evidence to uh, suit their case and to point the blame at uh, Quinton Winders. Andrew McRae from the High Court in Rotorua. Thank you, Andrew.